Something unexpected happened the other night when I was out in the garage working on some things. Our oldest daughter came out to see me and she asked, Dad, can I ask you a question? Sure, kiddo. You can always ask me anything you want. Dad, do you think God is real? To be honest, this question took me by surprise. This was the very first time any of our kids had ever asked me about God or higher power. So I switched it back on her because I wanted her opinion before I gave her mine. So I ask, what do you think? Do you think God is real? Yeah, Dad, I think God is real. I think he is up in the sky in heaven watching over us. Why do you think God is in the sky? When I pray at night, I look out my window and look up to the sky. I leaned down to her and said, do you want to know a secret? Yeah, Dad, what is it? God isn't just in the sky. He's everywhere. When you're playing with your little sisters, he's there. When you're walking a dog, he's there. When you're taking a test, he's there too. He's everywhere. You are never alone. You can talk to me anytime you want, not just at night. With her wide-eyed amazement, she asks, So does that mean you believe in God too, Dad? Yeah, I do. What made you believe in Him? Everything. What is everything? You, kid. You're my everything. You, your mom, and your sisters. She blushed a little, but I could still see that something was still concerning her. Looks like you still have something on your mind, kid. Dad. Can I ask you another question? Of course. Why are there so many religions in the world? This one caught me off guard as well, but I knew the way I answered this question would stick with her for the rest of her life. So I took my time to find the best way to answer. I asked, what is your favorite snack? I love apples. I know, baby girl. Why do you like apples so much? Well, I love how they taste. They're healthy, they're good for my body. It fills me up and it cleans my teeth. I like how they make me feel after I eat one. Not like how ugly I feel after I eat junk food. God is like that apple. He's there to nourish your body, mind, and spirit. He fills you up and keeps you whole. But just like that apple, you can take it anywhere in the world. Take it to another country, another culture even. They will have their own name for that apple. Their own ways to make food with it. But it's still an apple. Same thing, just different names. And there are people in this world who will fight their friends, their family, their neighbors, because they believe that apple belongs only to them, that their name for the apple is the only way people should say it. These people will even kill for it. That's crazy, Dad. Yeah, yes it is. When all people should do is eat the apple and have it nourish them, fill themselves up, and if they have more than enough for themselves, they should give it to others and let them be nourished as well. Yeah, it seems so simple. Why can't it just be like that, Dad? Well, because people always try to outsmart nature, thinking they can improve things that are already made perfect just for them. She slowly began to mosey around the garage and she stopped and twirled around and asked, So all I have to do is pray and talk to God to believe? Well, it's a start. A start? What else do I need to do to be closer to God? Just like that apple I was talking about, it comes from our tree outside. That tree was once a seed. I planted that seed, watered it, Kept working on it, kept it nourished. Watched it grow through the year until it turned into a tree that gave us more apples than we could ever eat. That's how faith works, one with nature. We must work on our faith daily, giving thanks and being in harmony. You mean Hojo, finding harmony? Yes, same thing, different name. I think I get it now, Dad. Well, it's a start, even Dad's still learning. As old as I am, and we never ever stop learning, kid. Good talk, Dad. Or good talk, Shijie. She said as she smiled and ran back inside the house. <laughs>